I'm going to share with you some audio snippets from the last conversation I had with George before he was properly escorted to the underworld. My thanks to Kat, who was tagged below, who hid a recording device in her shirt. The first time she visited, we found out that he did not like any sort of proof of his existence. He even enjoyed the idea that people might think I was crazy. Before I share these with you, I do offer a warning. He was too close, and he came through too strongly. There should always be boundaries with anyone, and he was not respecting mine. But just a reminder for anyone who is upset, you do not have to worry about him anymore. And on a technical note, yes, the recording is going to be rough. By this point, remember, he knew he was towing the line of what was appropriate. And now for the audio. We just have the heat right here. That's right. And he's never done that before. And I don't have the thing from Jay. He's trying to prove, what are you trying to prove a point? That I can be generous. Oh, maybe he's trying to upset Rupert. Oh, okay. Perhaps. Oh, that was fun. Perhaps I'm trying to upset him. Hey, sir, you can get out of my back. No. He's uh, here. And he's close. Is he being creepy? Yes. Mm. Rupert is not... He's still just watching. It's not, he's, he's not on guard, so to speak. That's very telling. Yeah. He says, I don't take him seriously. And I should take him seriously. <laughs> it was, you are really darling when you say no. Oh, yeah, no, we're this good. This is, it's a bit. Bye. Yeah. No, we're leaving. No, that's uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable, isn't it? I don't like that. No. That's, un that's an unfortunate statement to make. All right, is there another spooky place to go? I got you, sir. I get it now. I feel like somebody's looking down on me. Oh, yeah. Not in a, not in a, like a you're be, you're not as good as me kind of way. <laughs> More just like a. Hey, I see there is a person. Very um, cold stairs. He, Very cold atmosphere behind me. <laughs> yeah, he got rather quiet because he didn't appreciate him. When? When we were just walking over here, he wanted to make his presence known, and you didn't say much. But you, you said nothing that pertained to him. So. Uh, Okay, I can go. <laughs> I mean, we did. I only drove like 500 miles to come back, but it's, you know, no big deal. He can't not talk. That's, that's No, I know. He, he's not going to be able to not say a word. I'm, I'm going to ask, uh, how are we? It's something, uh, don't you feel safe with me, darling? You feel the need to bring him here? Your actions speak loudly. Oh, oh, it's, it's turning into the, um... You have a variety of people doing your bidding now, don't you? That's a stretch to what it actually is. Yeah, it's not really my bidding. I mean, I, Rupert, we're, you know, I'm... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I say, you know, he says, oh. Yeah, I'm repeating what you're saying. But yeah, it, it was very much a, and what are you, exactly? Me, specifically? No. Or him, specifically? Yeah. Oh, he's, he's fine with you. He's just like, oh, I, re I recognize him. Um, perhaps you should speak less and be more cordial when you recognize me. Um, Sure. He, he had a bad day a few days ago. I, yeah, I, I know you can hear me. I know you can hear me. Um, There's no such thing as whispering. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, ah, ah, yes. Is he going to say anything? He's just going to stand there like some invalid.
Why are we so focused on Rupert? We're here to talk to you. Cat wanted to talk to you. I wasn't sure if I was going to come over after because I you told me I was not welcome here. Oh, don't worry. Mm, 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 mm. Perhaps. Oh, 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 oh. He says, perhaps you perceived that, and that was not what I said. Oh, we can move on. Oh, I'm fascinated. I'm, I'm like, oh, so I perceive. Ah, yes, now he's going into it. He's like, well, you perceived all kinds of things, didn't you? True. Yes, because I uh, had a number of blocks last year. Um, uh, the past year, it, that year and the year prior, when we first started actually communicating, and I was still trying to figure things out. It's a, it's a cool name that you gave yourself, George. You allowed me to call that your name for a long time. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to be cordial and not talk. <laughs> oh my god, no, you're fine. <laughs> I don't mind if you talk. Oh, well, you know. No, 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 I don't mind if you talk. No, he, um... It was something to the effect of, uh... You seem so happy over getting my name. And then going into all oh, these details on whether it's correct or not. Perhaps it's better that it's not. It, like this, he's just like, oh. I'm your George. That's what it is. That's what it is. He's like, I'm your George. Uh, this. I've always been, ah, that's it. I've always been who you perceive me to be. Isn't that what you wanted? Someone to be who you wanted, like your young man. He, he's not going to care that I say it, but people generally like it when you, you're, when you are yourself, not what you think they want. I sure as heck am interested in finding out more about you. The whole internet knows, apparently. Well, uh, I'm, I'm not the internet who thinks that I know better. You I am just one internet. person on the internet. I represent the internet. <laughs> Bring me to Congress today. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was saying that I... If I had known all he was, perhaps I would not have created the, the vision that I preferred. Well, yeah, if, if you're running around, you know, murdering people. Ah, oh, I did not say that I murdered anyone. I, you, you got the moves. Attempted count. Yeah, you, you, you got you got some some smooth moves. You got that, you know, go-to kind of... He's got that Michael Jackson smooth criminal vibe thing going on right now. Okay, he's blowing that off again. He's, mm. he's very much like, yes, but I won't do that to you. <laughs> but you'll do it! That's the point! It might not be appreciated. It's the fact that you would do it when you were under duress. And you can say you weren't under duress, but you were obviously under some duress. Do we have a barrier? Do you like it? That's it. That's oh. It. No, I'm thinking. Oh, <laughs> like, I'm I thinking like, a lot. I don't feel like you can. No, I have a lot of thoughts going through my head. I remember him saying that he liked me because I didn't pry. I'm trying not to pry, but... Oh, he says... Uh, he's basically saying that's fine because I'm enjoying making her uncomfortable right now. She didn't realize that I could be warm. Um, excuse me. Mm, no. No. Mm, 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 mm. You don't get to like make moves on me and then be like, I'm doing this to get in a, in a, an arousal. And I, I don't mean like an arousal. He's, oh, okay, so apparently you do. Okay, got it. You used to refuse to sit on the stairs. You used to refuse it. Because I would sit on the stairs and I'd just be like, I am loving the performance. Oh, Keep going, dude. Go, go for it. F stand. Ah, he says, ah, you feel safer when she's around, don't you? 
If I was by myself, I would still run up those stairs and try to talk to you, even if she wasn't here. She's just, a lu- it's a lucky break that I have an actual translator on hand right now. And yet, you brought her. He's happy with you because, no, I wouldn't have come here tonight otherwise. I don't know when I would have come back because, uh, yeah, you, Sorsha is my friend. And uh, you two aren't getting along. So, oh, oh, because I'm your friend. Okay, cool. I feel like I sound like I'm crazy right now. No, no, you're, no, you don't. No, you're fine. <laughs> Here I am talking about. Didn't she say something about maybe you'll talk this time? Or was that just a little tease? You didn't pull that same crap you did last time where you just stood there and didn't say anything at all. Did that displease you? Yes, actually. It did. I was excited about I was really looking forward to be able to say I heard the voice of George. I think everybody was. George, whoever you are. Whatever I mean, you know, from what we got last time, from everywhere we went, we don't know why anything's happening around here. It's just loud. And cars. So we'll just have a heat right here. That's it And he's never done that before. And I don't have the thing for the hair. He's trying to prove, what, are you trying to prove a point? That I can be generous. Are you? By sitting there with me? Dude, if you don't, like, okay. You don't have to pretend. If you're doing it for a rise, literally, you talking is really enough. <laughs> like, I don't know what he's playing at. Oh, maybe he's trying to upset Rupert. Oh, okay. Perhaps. Oh, that was fun. Perhaps I'm trying to upset him. Is it? Um. She, he's, she's going to be upset by me. No, I won't. <laughs> you can't really do anything to me. I mean, come on. I gave you a story. I told you a secret. Yeah. I was being generous. Uh, he, he, he's basically saying, um, you're only so fun. You, you don't allow yourself to be properly affected. My choice, yes. Hey, sir, you can get out of my back. No. I felt it. If I have to do this, I will. Oh, I don't give him what he wants. Oh, <laughs> so sad. Oh no, you did because you brought me here. Ah, uh, darn. Okay, well, you. we can go. <laughs> you know what we want. He was like, "What is it you want?" We just wanted to talk to you. I drove several hundred miles <laughs> to come back because you were so. You were so talking last time. Yeah. Perhaps you have your dear friend Sorsha to thank for my quieter nature. Please, you can speak. You don't have to be mean. Like, you straight up don't. Like, and I'm telling you, whatever version you're saying I'm creating of you, it's not entirely false. If you were just, like, mean all the time, you would not have had conversations. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, if he said he was basically like, you were so sad and pathetic, and you would have believed anything I told you. Now look where you are. You see me as I am, without my name, and as you want. Everyone wins, except for that man. Oh, you know what, though? It's not really... The Rupert's thing. pretty good, actually. Why doesn't he speak? Ah, because it bothers you. And he doesn't have much to say to you right now. He's, he's waiting. He's waiting. <laughs> I can just... I feel the, the tension. Like, you're holding on to a lot of anger there, buddy. We are not here to talk about Sorsha. We're not here to talk about any of that. It had nothing to do with us. And especially nothing to do with Rebecca. That had everything to do with you and Sorsha. That is where the problem is. Could we just, like, 
have a relaxing momentary conversation while we're here. No, and you couldn't get in anyway. Like, if you think she has... <laughs> she has enough guard up against herself. Imagine the amount of guard she has up against her house. I would not go searching for her. <laughs> not unless you want to get chopped up into a bunch of pieces. I really think that's probably a Darwin Award right there. That would be a very big mistake, sir. I wouldn't do that. I know of her awards. I know what they do. I, I don't know her other than from what I saw from her existence. And I just know, I'm sorry, ma'am, did not mean to intrude. <laughs> I just think she's a really sweet person. She just doesn't like people to be picked on or to lie or to project themselves onto somebody incorrectly. Could, if I ask him a question, will he actually answer it? Or will he give me a roundabout answer that doesn't really matter in the end of it? We'll see. Can you just give me the actual reason why you don't want to share your name? Like your real name? Which we're already very well aware that George is not your real name. Kind of had that suspicion from the start. <laughs> so. And don't play that, oh, it's a mystery. It's what you want it to be. If you say that, I swear to God, man. Uh, he used a word. It was a big word. <laughs> Too big for you, darling. Aren't you educated? Yeah, by the public school system of North Carolina. Um... It's not invisibility, but it's the same. Anonymity? And it's not quite anonymity. It's a different word, but it means like that. Okay, yeah. so it's like the synonym of it. So why, why the anonymity? No, it's not the guessing. There's more to that. Even if we were right, you wouldn't tell us. And that says a lot. Isn't, isn't part of the game guessing correctly? But it's your game. So we're gonna play by, the, by your rules, sir. Yes. Hmm. 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 So much warm, still. <laughs> Except do you like it? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how to feel about it exactly. Of all the times you could have shown warmth. Rupert, he enjoys touching you in front of me. It's been nothing inappropriate, but it's like, still. It's, it's the proximity. Yeah. It's the proximity. But I have control over my emotions. That's what he says. He says, I have control over my emotions. I don't work on this. Yeah. <laughs> Are you dead? <laughs> but did you die? <laughs> um, how am I in control of you? We pulled away with that. You have a very nice facade. It's pleasant. A very nice building to have it in. But it's it's even even somebody who cannot hear you can tell it's a facade. It's like you're speeding in and out. Are you doing that on purpose? Because you're getting mad. Every time we start bringing up specifics about him, he gets all like, ah, I don't want to talk about that. What well, we can't we can't actually just have a conversation with you out you being. The way you are. Why do you want to hurt so much? What happened to you? I, I just keep thinking, I was told at a young age that hurt people hurt people. Yeah. It's literally... So don't believe me. It's yeah. psychology. It's, it's literally been studied. People who have been hurt and abused in their life tend to go on to hurt and abuse other people. Are you okay? It's a control issue. You want to talk about it? 
Oh, did he get real upset about that? He hates this. <laughs> I'm he not. Hates this. George, he's like, not gone. That's the interesting. He's just George. Gone. Like from a genuine place, I know you might not understand like what it feels like to like really care, but like genuinely, genuinely, I am here because I care enough to listen to what you have to say. And no one else is gonna know. We're the only ones that are gonna talk about this. <laughs> almost growled I'm fine that's very telling of a not fine fucked up insecure neurotic and emotional uh okay he's now he's basically saying that he will not tolerate being treated like a child essentially um I have a new question what do you want from me I just really want to know But I was concerned. Um, let, let me play that back in my head. Uh, okay. Uh, essentially more of me somehow. What, what do you feel about me? Like seriously, like what, what do you feel? Like internet aside and whatever people have been saying to you, projecting or whatever, what do you, like we've been talking for over a year now. Like what, what is all this? What is the point? Lives. That was charged. Why does it always happen when I'm here? <laughs> like, why does it seem always happen when I'm here? <laughs> like, I come here, and then, like, he just, he finally is like, all right, I'm going to tell you some shit right now. Well, he, but without saying anything. I'm not here much, and he knows that. Like, I describe those with minimal concept of emotion as as much as you can in the way that you are care for somebody you care about that person it may seem like a selfish way of doing it but it's even with the the way that it's like borderline abusive to them it's like a twisted way of being like there is love there but it's also like awful mm -hmm. for everybody else <laughs> It's just a description of a feeling, not specifics. Possession. Possession. Love is possession. Which you possess you hate it. that word in this community. Um, but. <laughs> yeah, no, we are not a fan of possession. Zach Baggins gets one every week. <laughs> My laptop is possessed. <laughs> a guitar. George, would you, would you be willing to, sh to show your presence with a touch light? Could you do that for me while I'm here? No. Okay. Um, he has had his hands on my shoulders, um, but he went around because I made the comment on the song of Joshua. Then he said, Hmm, sir, no, that's not, that's not joke. I can sit closer to the box. I feel better if I sit closer to the the box will not protect you. Okay, cool. Um, but it'll let, it'll let, you know, let us know that you're there. And you are very avoidant of that. He's here. And he's close. Is he being creepy? George, I don't really want you to be creepy. I came back just to like say hello. Um, 
but I don't appreciate you being a creep. I already dealt with one creep this week. I don't want to deal with another creep. I got him back where he was supposed to go, so. Yay. He's asking when I'm going to come back. Don't you miss me? I mean, I am just in other places. So what he's doing right now, Rupert is not, he's still just watching. It's not, he's, he's not on guard, so to speak. That's very telling. Yeah. He says I don't take him seriously. And I should take him seriously. Is that a threat? Mm, sounds vaguely threatening. Or is it a promise? <laughs> is that a threat or a promise? <laughs> like, just say it as it is. Like, the honesty would help a lot. You know? I mean, you've got a type to you, sir. You do. Maybe, maybe not the weight on my shoulders. That's kind of weird. <laughs> He's doing this a little bit. Not a fun way. Hey, uh, 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 uh. No. <laughs> it was, you are rather darling when you say no. Oh, yeah, no, we're this good. Is that's a bit. Bye. Yeah. No, we're leaving. No, that's uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable, isn't it? I don't like that. No. That's un that's an unfortunate statement to make. All right. Is there another spooky place to go? I got you, sir. I get it now. Uh, we can go. Let's initially go that way. Okay. I like, I see something oh. shiny, and it's a little piece of, of plastic. It is a shiny. It, I am a crow. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well. Yeah, that was that was a good. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. This is when um, the good soldier is here, especially after that comment. Hmm. He. <laughs> that was. Uh, no, I'm not going to talk about it. No, I'm not going to talk about it. You know what? Polar bears. Have you ever seen a polar bear in your life? Yeah, I did it at the zoo once. It was really cool. Yeah, like... Have you seen, ever seen an artwork in person? They're wild looking. They sleep all day. They're not a fun animal to see at the zoo. Yeah. Oh, you know what my favorite thing to do is to go to aquariums? That's like my favorite thing to do. You know what I love there? I love when the sharks swim by and their dicks are out. Oh my God, that's the best. I know. <laughs> Double dick action all day long. I love it. And they look so menacing, but really, they just want to hug. Like sharks just want hugs. Yeah, I saw my first armadillo when I came down here. It was dead. <laughs> True story. We're good. We're good. He's back there. Okay. What the fuck? Dude. <laughs>